bless you.
I love her. Better than the one we have. I think Tom's Eric would have been better than what we have. I would vote for him first. Well, maybe not. There are way more <clears throat> economical ways to paint than the way I do it. Economical ways aren't always necessarily the best ways. What do you mean? Oh, I'm talking to the camera. I'm doing a video. Um, I mean that, like, th I could probably take a big brush and slather the paint on this for background color, but I like to work it into the texture of the canvas. Like, I like to feel the the coarseness of the canvas because when I do it that way then then that's how I'm going to blend color too. You, you work it into the canvases are rough because they grip the paint and you can work those things in and blend color and so when I apply my background I apply it the same way. I take the brush, a small brush, I could probably slather it on with a big one but I take a small one and work it into the canvas to, just to get my hand in the practice of of doing that and I paint the whole thing with the same wrist motion it creates a consistency if you paint the entire canvas the same style and the same method rather then it creates a consistency your brush strokes are the same uh, the paint has the same look all around you get inconsistencies in painting like if I were to take paint and and, and sometimes you need to do that but in in some cases if I took paint and like and just for instance, sprayed paint on the background. If I use spray paint for a background, it would be a smooth color gradient. And then if I do some some brush work on top of that, it's easy to define the difference between the brush strokes and where the paint was sprayed. That's what I mean. And so if you paint the entire piece in the same manner, in the same method, then it creates a uniformity to the look of it. Um, it's obvious that it was all painted the same way, and that's why I do it that way. Okay, that's enough.